Oh, and welcome back to the shop. Today, we're going to take a look at an interesting tool that is hopefully going to be helpful if you're trying to meter things without taking the plug off. So let's get this open and take a look. Okay, so let's dig into this thing. So what this thing does is you would plug this into a cord and then you plug something into it and basically what it does is it, it has the current carrying conductors split inside of it and you can stick your amp clamp over it and read the current. Now one thing is that here is a times 10 multiplier and that's really useful for things that read lower current. So say if it's um, a quarter amp or something like that it would actually read 2.5 amps because you'd be multiplying it by 10. Now this also has a nice feature where, which we'll play around with I think is you can also read voltage with it. Now interesting this one has a category 2 rating and we'll take a look at some other ones um, that are very similar to this. These things have been around for a while but we'll take a look at one that has um, no category rating and another one that has a category 2 rating to 600 volts. Uh, a lot of times in industry they want to see at least a category 3 or 4 rating on most metering equipment but I feel like something like this is a gray area. Now this does not have a UL listing at least printed on it. Let's see if it has it has the ETV listed for the UVS or the US so I wonder I'd have to do a little more research on that to know and that is printed on here right here so it might be some other um, jurisdiction that I, I'm just I don't know uh, so it's 15 amp rated allows you to check the current with your amp probe says it works with all of their stuff uh, Ames meters and everything else. This is Harbor Freight if you didn't know. Nothing really spectacular coming out of that. Let's get that into the trash. It does come with some instructions. Uh, let's see if there's anything special of note in here. Typical disclaimers. And really nothing overly cr uh, spectacular here. It's just giving you some diagrams of how to use it and everything else. Uh, it goes over the voltage reading on there as well. So nothing super spectacular in that. But overall it's made relatively well. It doesn't have a lot of flex. It has some but it's not got a lot. Um, I kind of like the ones that do times one and times ten but the 10 times 10 only versions aren't really that, you know, it doesn't matter that much. So let's see how it works. Um, we're going to take a regular plug here, plug it in. Nothing spectacular there. And then what we're going to do, we got to test it with 120 volt something. Why not test it with a classic Milwaukee restored drill because you know why not if you can why not so we'll plug that into there we got everything going straight through test it we got power and today we're gonna be reading with a Simpson this is newer Simpson this is not old Simpson and I don't think Simpson makes these I think this is an overseas manufacturer uh, out of the European Union that makes these. Um, I, I'm a little undecided how I feel about it yet. I had tried to do some current reading with DC, a uh, low current reading with DC, and I had to get the fluke back out because this just wasn't cutting it. So um, we're going to go to Amperage AC. There we go, Amperage AC. And one nice thing about this meter, you can turn the amp probe around 
so what we'll do is we'll go into times one so all you do is clip this in there just like that open up your clamp clamp it right through the hole and we'll turn on our drill and see what we get Now you'll notice that was dropping because these old drills, they really do take a little time to warm up. Uh, that's not uncommon. Uh, I feel some heat in that bearing. So that's kind of what they do. So now that we're seeing about 2.3, 2.2, let's go to the times 10. Go over that. So now you could see that that was 21 amps, but that's multiplied by 10, so it was actually 2.1 amps, uh, but we had a little bit more, um, it was a little more finite. We had a little bit more reading there off to the side. So you just have to keep in mind where you are on it so that you know you're clamped on to the right or multiplying out what you're doing. That's really all these things are. They're pretty simple. Um, easy tools to use. Um, let's take a look now at some other variants. And we could compare, we could run the drill off the other variants as well, but I think you guys get the idea. So let me get all this cleared up and we'll be back. Eh, we'll let that sit here. Good enough. So another version, this is an old version that I had gotten a long, long time ago and this is just a craftsman version of this and it's also category 2 600 volts this does have a UL tag on it if it'll focus there you go that does have a UL tag on it and this is times 10 and times 1 as well so very similar this has voltage testing prongs as well I guess we could play around with that we'll see how the voltage testing works we could we could test that out and then another variant is a Klein's tool uh, Klein tools has a variant and um, this is only a times 10 so you have to make sure you have that in mind when you use it that is times 10 and that it is only there and you'll have to do some multiplication when you use it but it's actually I think in some ways when you're only limited to 15 amps as long as your clamp meter can handle 150 amps which this is a thousand amps so I mean as long as you can handle 150 amps you're you're good you don't have to worry about it so these are just some other variations this one does not have any UL listings or anything so that leads me to wonder if it's these voltage reading prongs that are actually the the, the category 2 reading uh, ratings just because this does not have any category rating it is just a through plug like any other plug and it's it's a 15 amp rated plug so I'm assuming that's why this does not have a category rating and this is the one that I generally carry at work uh, in case I need to use it and, and I'm hoping a safety guy doesn't get goofy because it doesn't have a category rating on it. It is a piece of metering equipment, but really it's no different than a plug-in anything else. Surge protector, GFCI, whatever. It's an inline plugging device. If any of you guys have experience with a safety guy or anything else with these and the category ratings, if anybody's goofy about it on job sites, let me know. I'm kind of curious. I don't really dwell in all of that other stuff it's one of those that uh, 
you deal with it as it comes, but uh, it's kind of in the back of your mind a little bit when you're doing things. So let's put these off to the side. And let's plug this guy back in. And we'll get out our voltage probes for the Simpson meter. I do like these voltage or the leads that came with this meter. Uh, they're nice silicone leads. But I was a little bit uh, disappointed with the uh, current reading when I was playing around with it on another video. So now we'll go to voltage AC. And we'll take our, we'll go into sport mode, take our protectors off. If I remember how. These have like a little knobby on them there. There we go. Ooh, this might not make it in. This has got uh, bananas on it. Yeah, it's not going to make it in. That is not going to make it in. All right, we might be going to the fluke anyway, or at least the fluke leads. Okay, so sometimes you know you're not trying unless you have a complete mess with tons of meters out on the table and all kinds of stuff going on. Anyway, let's get the fluke uh, 233 into sport mode here. These are kind of nice, you just turn them, and we're turn to AC voltage and we should just be able to stab this into here and get our 120 volt and then you can actually do the same thing we'll run the drill again let's put our Simpson meter onto AC current this time So you can see there with the same device, we're with two meters, we're reading voltage and current. So that's kind of handy that you're able to test both with the same meter. Well, with the same device here. Uh, we got the amp clamp on and the, the fluke meter. So we're using two meters, but we can get two reading points off of this uh, Ames plug in amp clamp. Now, just out of curiosity, because I never tried to use it before for that reason, let's see if the Craftsman, see how it does. I never actually read voltage through this one before. And let's see if it's getting similar uh, current readings. There we go. Plug that in. Plug that in. And let's plug in our AC leads. Got our 120 volt. Let's see what we get. Very similar readings. That was our times 10 scale. Let's go down to our times 1. And once the drill warms up, we'll see the same basic reading. So, there you go. Quick look at current splitters, uh, voltage and current in the case of the Ames. Now, the Ames is kind of nice because it allows you to read to ground, um, and the, the Craftsman does not. So, that is one thing that is a difference between the two. I don't even know if you can get these anymore. This is old Sears Craftsman, so um, kind of old and outdated at this point. But if you were looking for a new version of this and had a use for it, this seems decent. It works. Uh, it's not cheaply made completely. I think it'll bang around pretty good. And sometimes it's just a handy troubleshooting tool to have around. So hopefully this was interesting. 
uh, maybe show you a tool that you didn't know was out there. And um, as always, thanks for watching and have a great day.